We live in a world that celebrates our success stories. We take pictures of it and scrapbook it or post it on social media. We tell everyone about our successes because we want those successes to be what we hope is true about ourselves. It's not the same for failure. We don't take pictures of it or scrapbook it. Rarely do we ever see that posted on social media. We tend to hide our failures because failure is what we fear might be true about ourselves. On my road to becoming published, I experienced a lot of this. Part of uh, the quest to become published is you write a query letter. It's a one-page letter. It says a little bit about me and a little bit about what I'm writing and asks the editor or the agent, do you want to see more? Now, uh, this is one of my query letters. Uh, this is the letter. There's the rejection. I didn't get a rejection letter. I, I got a rejection scribble. Here, this is the query. There's the rejection. This whole thing is a rejection letter. And the truth is, on my way to publication, all of these, every paper here, this is me trying and failing and trying and failing again and again and again. This is a lot of belly flops. Now, this stage of failure, it wasn't fun but something happened to me along this part of the journey. This taught me how to rely on the Lord, how to need his help every day, how to ask for his help for everything, and to express gratitude when he gave that help. The truth is that failure made me stronger, more resilient. It taught me to believe in myself even if no one else did. It also taught me not to worry what the critic thinks of me, only to ever worry about what the Lord thinks of me because that is all that ever should matter.